Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek uh, YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to first turn on a gas lock fireplace uh, for the first time after it has been turned off for about a year. Um, there are three things that you should uh, check to make sure before you start the uh, lighting um, procedure. And uh, that is uh, number one, uh, make sure that this particular shot off, this shot off switch right here. Um, I know we are turning it on, but uh, for the first for for the first time right now, before you start any of the procedure, I would like to have that um, switch to off to make sure that is uh, in off position, and then the, also that particular switch right there is perpendicular uh, that means it's also in off position and the third thing is the um, exhaust vent which is all the way up there you probably can't see make sure that vent is open so that you can vent the smoke out um, away from the house so <clears throat> after those three things are done we can proceed to the second um, phase, which is uh, to turn on the uh, fire itself. I forgot to mention one more point uh, that you have to make sure that it's off also, which is this uh, lighting, um, I guess, assembly for the uh, gas fire lock. Make sure that it's in off position, and it should be. Uh, if you turn it off properly, the year before like I did uh, it should be an off position here all right um, I'm ready to go through the um, turn on process now okay so for the turn on process um, I would recommend turning it on from this from the uh, closest to the pipe side which is this particular switch here so I'm going to turn this counterclockwise to on and um, my switch uh, here, my valve here, uh, only turns about, I would say a quarter of a turn. Yeah, a quarter of a turn. See, just like that, that's on. Just leave it there. And the next thing is, uh, I would do is turn this on here, which is uh, to turn it again counterclockwise, about a quarter of a turn also. And before I forget, make sure the vent is open. Uh, let me shine a light there, you see? My vent is open. And then finally, uh, make sure that uh, this switch right here is still off. And now we are going to switch this to on and start um, trying to spark or create a spark for the pilot to turn on okay so the indicator for mine is uh, up on the top uh, on the top at 12 o'clock noon right here so i'm going to turn this to pilot and usually um i can hear the gas hissing at this point and uh, it's not that much um it's always hard to hear but um right now the wind is kind of blowing pretty hard at the vent so i can barely hear it but usually you just uh press this and uh, press the uh the the ignition which is right here so i have this ignition right here um so you have to press the dial in like so into it i can hear the gas actually right now when I press it in and then and then click on that uh, um, button here the uh, trigger so that the spark will spark and uh, it will light up the uh, pilot so you may have to do this several times until the pilot is completely lit uh, I'm gonna stop the video for now and uh, try to try to do that okay you see Okay, so that's the spark that is uh, trying to ignite the uh, pilot. 
So the gas should be flowing now. And it is kind of normal for this to take a long time. Sometime up to a couple of minutes for it to, to light up. When, it, uh, when it's working, basically, I don't need to be sparking it. Um, there's going to be a flame there where the... Uh, okay. I hear it, right? Where is the flame? Yeah, yeah. Huh? You see it? A little bit. Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, stop it. All right, the, the uh, pilot fire is already lit. Um, see, it's right there. So at this point, the uh, the switcher is, is still switched to pilot, uh, which means that the, the gas is only going to light up the uh, pilot um, pipe and uh, it will, will never turn on fully at this point. So the next thing to do is uh, to go ahead and switch it completely to on by turning it counterclockwise again one more time and then you can tur uh, fully turn on the uh, the entire gas lock. Okay, so I've turned the uh, uh, the knob there to on position and uh, now we're ready to turn on this switch here to the right that should turn it on. Well, it doesn't work. So let me uh, check the batteries on this. All right, I got the batteries um, replaced and I uh, just want to give a quick tip. Uh, I prefer to use rechargeable batteries because uh, they don't corrode. Um, if you use alkaline batteries, they, um, they tend to corrode, especially um, if you keep them there for a year and they don't get used. Alkaline battery will um, give out acids and it will start corroding and messing up your electronics. So use rechargeable, um, it'll be good. Uh, I use EBL batteries. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description for you and uh, if you're interested to buy that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so we're ready to turn it on now. Uh, right now the, uh, the switch here is uh, on remote. So we're just going to use our remote here and then press on. You should hear a click and there you go we have fire and uh, of course you can also set this to on for it to turn on all the time uh, when you finish uh, using make sure that you turn it to off position here or on the remote to off um, I usually just keep it on remote and then use the remote to control it on and off Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, uh, please give it a thumbs up to help this video to be discovered. And thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.